In this tutorial, we will go over a Volume DSP campaign setup for native ad traffic. Go to the native campaign form by going to the Campaigns tab. Click on the green New Campaign button and select New DSP campaign. Then choose Native. First step of the campaign creation is called Ad Exchanges. Here you can find the approval status, status of your campaign after review process. Click the Learn More link in the tooltip to see any important comments left by the team regarding the content of your campaign. Set up your campaign status. Remember that when active, your campaign will start running immediately upon approval. In the table, you can find details about each ad exchange, including its auction type, device type, geos with the highest amount of traffic, source type, and average daily volumes of traffic. If you have some doubts, just hover over here for the description of the column. Check out the compliance guide here to have more information what type of offers can be run on a particular ad exchange. In the search field, you can type in any specific elements such as a geo or ad exchange. To see more detailed stats about Volume DSP inventory, go to the planning tool. We strongly recommend checking it before opening the campaign as it has detailed stats of each network. If you click on the hyperlink planning tool below the table with ad exchanges, the planning tool will open in a separate window. To continue the setup, select the ad exchange and click next. In the setup tab, you can find the DSP campaign ID. It is a unique campaign ID assigned automatically to a campaign once your setup is finished and saved. Now, enter a unique campaign name. You can add new tags or select existing tags for your campaign. It will be easier to find it later on the campaign list. Next, in the destination section, you can choose between a destination URL leading straight to the offer or a pre-made flow which should be used if you have a lander in your flow. By selecting flow, you can also create a new one by choosing create new flow in the drop-down menu. Also, you can use any of the available URL tokens below. This option will define the revenue model of your campaign. Here, you should enter the amount of money you earn when reaching a certain goal. To learn more about each revenue model, hover over the question mark here. As a brand domain, put a domain which refers to the home website of the owner of the promoted offer. Do not put your landing page domain here. Click on Next to continue to the targeting section. Here you choose the part of inventory you'd like your campaign to target. Select your target country. We strongly recommend targeting one country per campaign. You can narrow the geo-targeting. Just click on the State Region and City button and select them from the drop-down list. Next, choose the source type. Here you can choose if you want to buy web or in-app traffic. By default, it is set to target both. Select a device type to target. We strongly recommend targeting one device type per campaign. If you plan to target all devices, select them all and use the toggle underneath to allow the system to automatically create three campaigns one per each device. Choose the operating system and the connection type. Or leave the default settings if you want to target everything. Expand Advanced Targeting section if you want to target IP addresses, deal IDs, or specific sites or apps. In other words, if you want to add a whitelist or blacklist. After filling in the targeting section, you will see that estimated daily volumes on the bottom of the form has changed. You can see what volumes you can expect daily. Click Next and you will find yourself in the Bid and Budget section. Choose the bid for your campaign. Keep in mind that DSP operates on CPM, so you pay for 1000 impressions. The bid reach on the right side will show you how much traffic you can buy for a specific CPM for the chosen targeting. Take into consideration the auction type. Total Budget is the maximum amount you're ready to spend on your whole campaign. Select the daily budget for your campaign. 
You can choose how much you want to spend daily per app and site. By using toggles, you can keep budgets unlimited or custom. Spend strategy defines how fast your budget will be spent. ASAP will try to spend all your budget as fast as possible. And Smooth will spend your funds evenly throughout the day. Click Next to move to the Creatives tab. In the Creatives tab, all fields are mandatory. Click on the New Creatives button to start creating your ad. Size requirements vary depending on the ad exchange you choose. Depending on the network chosen, adequate valid tips will be displayed. Once you upload an image, you will be able to adjust the size of it and change the focus of the image if needed. Check the preview on the right side to ensure your main image looks good. In order to have good quality creatives, you might need to upload images with higher resolution. Once you finish working on your image, click Save button. All your saved images will appear under the cropping tool window. Now, provide the text for the headline. This will be the main text displayed in your native ad unit. If you want to add more than one headline, put one headline per line. In this case, each headline will be combined with each image. You will get multiple versions of the same ad. If you want each word to be capitalized, enable this option with this toggle. In the description section, you can provide additional promotional information about your product. It is not always displayed in the ad unit. It is required by some ad exchanges. So by adding it, you can increase the reach of your campaign. It is also possible to use dynamic macros like in the campaign headline. In the displayed brand name, put the brand of the promoted product. Icon image should represent a logo of your promoted brand and should be smaller than the main image since it is used for mobile in-feed placements. Here, type in your text that will be displayed on the call to action button of your ad. It should encourage people to click on your ad. Example, click, read more, find out more. Once you fill in all the information, the create button will become active. Click it to generate an ad. Your ad has been generated. You can create more ads or click the next button to go to the optimization tab. The last part of campaign setup is completely optional. The auto-optimization feature enables you to set a goal for your campaign and allow our system to optimize your campaign automatically. Activate auto-optimization here. Optimization status will show you when the data collection is initialized and the algorithm starts working. Auto-pausing allows you to pause certain elements if they meet the criteria set up by you. Create a new auto-pausing rule or choose a previously created one from a drop-down menu. Frequency capping allows you to limit the number of times your advertisement will be displayed on a unique device per custom time range. You can also limit how many of your ads will be displayed in one widget. In the campaign time settings, you can choose the start and end date, time zone and hours when your campaign will be active. Now, click save and your campaign will be sent for approval to our content quality team. Remember to check our documentation and thank you for watching.